Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TNG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time it's Brands Hatch round one of the season 12 AOR GT3 Elite Championship. And um, yeah, I didn't actually record this race live. I sort of recorded the replay as at the time my OBS was just messing about, to be honest. So um, yeah, I've kind of got the race in a replay camera. So it's just gonna be sort of a, a brief sort of synopsis of what happened in the race instead of a full length um, proper highlight video. As you can see, we actually qualified, I think we qualified in fifth position. Um, not too bad, I mean, the McLaren felt pretty good around here. And um, yeah, I uh, was looking forward to the race, but honestly, this race had so many connection problems at the time, and people were getting disconnected left, right, and center. I think this was actually the third restart we had to do. So as you can see, people were trying to get into their positions of where their starting positions were, we ended up restarting the lobby like three times or whatever. So it was actually about uh, half an hour, 45 minutes late. Um, we had to shorten the race by a few laps as well. So um, yeah, unfortunately, there's just so many connection problems. A um, few people weren't actually able able to race. Um, Villa Lobos, who was in front of me in the AMG, he had a, um, I think he had a Windows update and it was just causing havoc with his uh, connection. So he ended up pulling off. So we got promoted up into fourth position at the start of the race. So yeah, I'll let the race get taken away from here. So as per usual in AOR it's the manual rolling start and um, yeah starting in fourth position on the outside had operator on pole position Dalking in second, Jardia third and then me promoted to fourth with Villa Lobos is um, having to pull off and yeah managed to get a decent start. I was a bit worried about Swarmy getting up the inside. Swarmy's in the Audi just behind me and CJ just behind that and then you've got M Power I believe in the, uh, in, in the AMG behind CJ so um, managed to get a decent start. Obviously having to hang it around the outside, the swim tried to pull it up the inside, but because Jardy was there, he wasn't really able to um, really stamp his foot on the throttle to get down the inside of us, but we managed to hold position and I was really wanting to see what the McLaren was like in the race. Um, I've raced a lot of different GT3 um, cars in my time in AOR and some of them tend to fall away in the race and some of them seem to be quite consistent. Um, the, I did have a good feeling with the McLaren because it's super balanced and it just has a uh, just, it just feels very steady. It never feels like you're about to spin it or, or, or chuck it in the wall. It's not, you don't really get a lot of oversteer or understeer. It's just a nice handling car and I'm pretty comfortable with it. So that's the reason why I decided to go with it. But um, the, the only weaknesses it does have is pretty much a straight line speed and the curves, it just doesn't really do curves. But um, yeah, <coughs> managed to get away quite well. You can see the two AMGs just flying away at the beginning of the race. And I pretty much knew that um, they would be seriously quick just from practice at times they were doing but the temperature of the track was sort of what was I think what helped us keep up with the guys ahead because it was so cold you can get away of running the soft tyres and the McLaren is quite easy on its tyres so most of the other guys especially the guys in the Lambo really struggling to run the soft tyres it just just heat the car heat up the tyres so much it was just really hard to drive through the fast corners now and that's why when I was behind Charlie I was thinking How's this guy taking these fast corners so quickly? Because whenever I've been doing practice and I watch the guys in the Lamborghini, they've really been struggling through the fast corners. You can visibly see they're not able to carry the same amount of apex speed. But um, I could tell on the uh, on the warm up lap, on the formation lap, Jardia was really warming up his tyres. So I was thinking, has he gone with hards? Because he's when, when you use soft tyres you tend not to even try and warm them up too much you, you warm your brakes up but you tend not to sort of warm the tyres up too much because you don't really want them to get hot because they get hot and they just understeer all over the place but Giardi seemed to really be war warming up his tyres on the, on the outlap so um, I kind of had an inkling that he was in the hard tyres and whenever I was behind him and I checked his apex speed and he was going through the fast corners he was flying so I thought there's no way no way he could be on on softs, if you if you look at all the characteristics of all the other guys driving the Lambo, they didn't seem to have the same sort of speed through the fast corners. Um, but he could definitely match the same sort of speed I was doing. So yeah, I knew someone was a miss there. I was thinking, how's he keeping his tyres warm enough? But um, you can see at the moment we've managed to like gap swarmy a little bit behind us. Jardia also has got a little gap to us, but the AMGs at the front are just completely gone. Operator and Dalking absolutely flying around this track. And um, yeah, I was sort of confident in my pace, especially um, if I could sort of bring to the table what I was doing in practice. I wasn't too far off, probably 
maybe three or three so three or so tenths off of what the uh, AMGs could do on race fuel. So I was pretty comfortable with my pace. Um, I didn't actually think I would qualify as high up as I did. So yeah, that was that was always a, a bonus. Um, obviously, quite known, especially on the PS4 side of things, quite known for bottling quality. So um, I managed to get a good quality and really just get into a rhythm and be comfortable. You can see there's quite a big gap behind us at the moment. Um, and M Power, who was he qualified behind us, but is another seriously fast guy. He's managed to work his way up into I think that's fifth position. And yeah, he was definitely going to be flying behind us. Um, as you see, Dow can actually make a mistake, and we actually get up into the podium positions in our first official uh, PC race. Um, and yeah, I thought, wow, if if I could just hold this position, I would I would take it right now. Um, obviously Operator, he's way down the road, we've got Jardin in front of us, we've got Dalkin behind us. I wasn't too sure if he had actually picked up damage or whether he hit the wall. I had to see him um, coming, driving real slow out of the, uh, I think it was the fourth corner, um, corner just before the back straight. So I knew he'd made a mistake but I wasn't too sure if he had hit the wall and if he had damage or not. So um, I was waiting to see whether he was going to be hounding me back down because he was so fast if he was... Um, if he didn't have damage, I'd be able to tell because he'd just be all over it. But this is one of them tracks that is quite difficult to follow, especially depending on how you got your pass out. Um, and it is also a track where it's kind of hard to pass unless the car in front of you makes a mistake. It's pretty tricky to pass someone. But you can see as the race goes on, um, Dowking's just sticking with us. You can see M Power dragging Suomi along as well, and it's sort of a, a four-way fight for third position at the moment CJ actually got disconnected CJ was in the black and red Lamborghini and as I said at the start of this race um, there were so many connection problems and restarting um, restarting the lobbies it just it just got crazy but you can see Dowking attacking us now and we're really having to put a car in a position to make sure we defend um, luckily with this corner here going onto the back straight we were pretty good the McLaren really turned in nice for this so I was always able to get on the throttle nice and early obviously the AMG's got quite a big straight line advantage but because of how early I could get on the throttle I could always sort of get enough of a gap to get away you can still see Jar there he's actually pulling a little bit closer to Operator and pulling away from us a bit so um, he seemed to have good pace and obviously I knew the guys behind me were super fast and now my mind started going to pit stop so every lap I would sort of just be checking um, the, the times between the, the two guys behind me just to check if anyone's coming into the pits because I knew if you can get clean air and you can pump in some fast times where like people are occupied and people in your mirrors then obviously you've got a chance and that is the one thing when I when I did um, uh, practice races my car seemed to be so fast after the pit stops and in my head I was thinking I could pit I could pit and just go for an undercut on the blind side but at the same time I don't know if I'm going to come out in traffic so um, yeah it was a tricky one but I knew for some reason for whatever reason the car was just seriously quick after the pit stop as we move forward now you can see M Power has actually managed to pass Dowking um, I think Dowking went wide out of uh, turn one and M Power managed to slip up the inside you can see that M Power all over us we've actually got the cars behind a little bit as well um, but it was it was just to and fro. One lap uh, you'd be able to pull away, and then the next lap they would just gain sort of three, four attempts on you. So it was one of the races you had to stay focused for the whole race because it's just constantly someone's just on your case. And M Power, who started quite far back, and he managed to really work his way up. And um, yeah, it was <laughs> it was definitely a crazy battle for the podium. I think even at this stage, I think even Jardier was disconnected now so I think this is actually now a fight for second position because obviously um, Operator was quite far down the road and um, yeah we're just literally battling just to try and stay on the podium at the moment and all in my head I'm thinking if I don't make a mistake and I manage to have a clean pit stop and not run into any traffic I should be able to secure a podium but M Power was just all over us he was he was just quicker everywhere um, the only corner, as I said, with my saving grace was literally this corner coming up now where I could literally get on the throttle early and just power through the corner. But you can see he's still managing to hold us. And I knew how much straight line speed he has. I just 
made sure if anyone's going to get a run of me down the straight, I'm going to make sure I hold the inside line because it's going to be near enough impossible to go around the outside of someone around the corner that's this quick. But um, yeah, as I said, it was definitely a difficult race. Grand Hatch is probably not one of my favourite tracks. It's just one of them tracks that's so easy to catch you out. Coming into the last sector now, um, fly over that kerb. And I think I just touched the grass on the outside, and that was actually the second time in the race that happened. I think it happened earlier on when I was ahead of Dowking, um, and I managed to just hold the position, but only just kept it out of the wall there. If I had hit the wall at that speed, it would have been a nightmare. The only lucky thing would have been I would have been pretty close to the pit lane, but um, obviously, if you, if you pick up damage, then you're going to be stuck in the pits for quite a while. And again, um, so a few laps later. Empower's just got off and Dowking's on the back of us now and Dowking chucks up the inside and we just give him the room because our pace was just starting to drop off a little bit and you can see how much Swarmy and Dowking closed back in. I tried to go uh, side by side with Dowking but the AMG was just pulling on me all the way down the straight so I tucked back in and I thought you know what this lap is just going to have to be the lap where I pit because my lap times ain't getting any faster. My tyres Obviously, I was actually doing this race on the soft tyres because the conditions were really cool. But after a while, they were starting to heat up. So I just thought I needed to make the pit stop to cool the tyres down. And as I said, in practice, whenever I pitted, the car was just rapid after the pit stop. So um, it was now or never, pretty much. I think this was about lap 20, about lap 23, I think, something like that, where I pitted. Um, and yeah, I came in the lead. I think we only ran 38 laps of the race because obviously we had disconnections and had to restart the lobby quite a few times. So we only did 38 laps. So I pit, pitted on lap 23. Um, I knew a lot of the other guys were pretty much going to go right to the last couple of laps before they pitted. And yeah, 6.5 second pit stop, um, which is pretty much the norm, I think, um, on PC. So um, yeah, clean pit stop. And now I just wanted to sit wait to see if I came out in any traffic and luckily enough I came out in a nice clear field no one in sight you'd never think there was a 20 20 to 30 cars on the track but um, yeah perfect managed to come out nice and clean um, and all I had to do really was just get my head down and focus and make sure I just didn't make any mistakes and this was the time to really push because obviously with Dowking just getting past us and Suomi just behind as well um, we could pretty much lose our podium spot if we if we don't uh, if we don't attack and make sure we put in some hot laps now and this is this is really what I wanted just to be sort of left alone to just focus on my pace and just not mess around it I mean after this I was probably one of the faster guys on the track I was just doing consistent 23 ones 23 ones 23 ones and I think I had a couple of off laps where I may have strayed and like dropped half a second here and there but in the main I was doing low 23s and I could actually when I was looking at the time difference I could actually see I was pulling in the leader a little bit so I knew my pace was pretty good and looking at the time it was about 24 seconds for a pit stop and uh, yeah when I when I was checking the telemetry I could see Dowking was almost exactly 24 seconds ahead of me and in that shot there you can see M power going through um, the corner just before the back straight and that's that's a that's one of the uh, points where I felt like I lost some time where I got off onto the grass and yeah just had to back out of the throttle and I think I ended up being about six or seven temps off that lap and um, yeah I thought wow that that really could have cost me because the guys on they're so consistent it is pretty hard to to make the difference especially if you've not been on it every lap and um, yeah it was it was a tricky one as I said, I mean, I haven't brought the, the full highlights for this race out because obviously I didn't record the, the live feed, I only recorded the replay afterwards. So I wanted to keep it short and sweet and just get all the best bits of the race. And right now, um, I think it's only a couple of laps to go at this point and I've just been hammering it since, since lap 23, hammering it, had no traffic whatsoever. And I knew I was going to be really close, really close to Dowking. I think Suomi had dropped about three seconds behind Dowking so I was expecting Suomi to come out behind us and I knew I was sort of racing Dowking for that third place in the podium. Operator was um, in the lead um, 
Empower was in second and Dowking was in third at this point, slow me fourth and then there was me in fifth um, after my pit stop, still waiting for the guys to head to pit and I thought if I could just eke out some more time I'll be able to just jump Dowking again in the pits and then um, coming around to the pit stop you can see Empower and we're, we're crossing the line as Empower's going through the um, the corner before the back straight and it seemed like we was bridging the gap but to my surprise on the I think this is the Panorama lap Suomi actually gets out ahead of us and I'm scratching my head thinking how how did Suomi manage to how did he manage to jump us because we we were lapping pretty quickly and I, I knew it was like 24 seconds for a pit stop and he was definitely not in our pit window and it turns out he actually had a 2.5 second pit stop about four seconds quicker than our pit stop unbelievable so Suomi's managed to jump us now and if I'm really close with Dalking, that means Suomi is going to be extremely close with Dalking. So now it's it's a proper battle for the podium. And I think this is the penultimate lap. Um, only one more lap after this, so Dalking's going to be pitting on this lap. So we're going to come out real close. And yeah, <laughs> trust me, I was I could not believe he was in front of me. I was in shock. I literally didn't know no, I didn't know what to think. I was like, have I have I got my uh, calculations wrong? Um, but I was, I was deadly sure that it was 24 seconds and um, as we're coming into the last sector I'm, I'm starting to watch the, the pitch on, um, watch the pits on the minimap because I know Dalking's in the pits now and I'm just trying to hammer it because I think if Suomi gets ahead of Dalking then there's going to be two cars ahead of me there's no chance of getting the podium and you see Dalking coming out of the pits now as Suomi comes into the first corner and I got completely distracted Suomi goes off as well and I went straight into the wall and um, yeah, I think at this point as well, I think Dalkin had a four second penalty or something like that. I'm sure he had a four second penalty. So Suomi, even though I, he was behind Dalkin, Suomi actually managed to get the uh, third place because Dalkin had the penalty. And we came in in fifth because we came home more than four seconds by Dalkin because obviously we crashed into the wall. But yeah, that was the race. Um, Sorry I didn't record the, the, all the race highlights because obviously as I said my OBS was messing about but yeah um, you got to catch Monza next time where I will be recording the whole race so you get to watch that. Anyways quickly TNG like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace.